Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for Magic Live. Now today, I'm gonna to be doing a routine, uh, I'm gonna be showing you a routine actually, uh, with John Allen's Destination Box. Now I've had lots of people want me to teach this on the Netflix, uh, and it's a routine that's literally taken me all over the world and back again. Uh, it's how I close my cabaret show. If you saw the smoke and mirrors, uh, over Christmas, I put my Smoke and Mirrors video up online, which was uh, my performance at the Smoke and Mirrors uh, bar, Mark Bennett's wonderful bar and theatre in Bristol. Um, you know, you'll see that I closed the show there with this routine. I've done this routine for as long back as I re can remember. It's in every cabaret show that I do, every parlour show that I do. It's in every, it's even used a lot in the illusion, in my illusion show as a front of cloth piece. And uh, I've gone through exactly how to do this routine with a very small group of people, Nemeth Phoenix, Matt Cluley, Alex Foden, the three people I think I've taught it to, side pedal as well. But uh, in this video, you're going to learn, well, I say in this video, in this video, you're gonna see my destination box routine, but I am teaching every single aspect of it on the Netrix. So if you are a Netrix member and you want to learn how to do this routine, all you have to do is log on because it will now be live there. It was on this week's upload. Uh, so just go to uh, the Netrix and just log in and it'll be there. I think we've got a section on stage magic now, haven't we, Jack? Yep. Yep, so there's a section on stage magic that will be in there. Um, and if you haven't got an access to the Netrix and you want to learn this routine, then go to www.thenetrix.com. You can get access immediately. So all the fuss is about, there's hundreds of routines in there, but we're putting loads of new stage routines in there as well. But anyway, without further ado, this is is my, um, uh, my favorite closer with my cabaret show. It's uh, my destination box routine. I love performing this. Let's have a look at it. This is live from Smoke and the Mirrors in Bristol. Signature trick, every magician has a signature trick. This is mine. In fact, many, many years ago, I entered Britain's Does Variety on Sky TV and won with this very trick. <laughs> it's exactly the same as Britain's Got Talent, but with like 15 million less viewers. There's no, no difference. I'm gonna go for somebody at the back. Let me come into the audience right here. Hello, 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 you look fun. You're pointing at him. What, what's so special about him? Everything. 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 What's your name, sir? Dave. Dave, would you like to come up and help me? I'd like yeah. Come on up, Dave. Yeah. Amazing. Come on up, Dave. Excellent, stand right there. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dave, everybody. Yeah. Good stuff, Dave. We're going to finish by my signature trick, okay? Yes. Now, before I start, I'd like you to give these cards a shuffle. Make sure they're all mixed up. Make sure there's no special order. Make sure they are what they appear to be. A deck of 52 playing cards. Ooh, look at that. It's fancy. That's actually very impressive. What that, that was good. That was good. What Dave just did there is, uh, is a waterfall shuffle. Very few people that can do that, Dave. That's really good. Now, when you become a magician, you can do one of these. This is called a Pharaoh shuffle. It's exactly the same thing, but you can do uh, this last bit with one hand. This is the hardest one of the lot. You take the deck with one hand, you cut the deck with one hand. You go. Forget that one. Should we do it again? Yeah, we'll do it again. Pick it up. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to do that. Oh, no, you... you. It's okay. You did well. Right, let's try again. Here we go. You take the deck with one hand. You cut the deck with one hand. You shuffle the deck with one hand. You do everything with one hand. That's called a lonely guy with way too much time on his hands. <laughs> Spent all my college years while you guys were having sex, I was sitting in my dorm room shuffling my deck. So there we go. That's why the cards are so sticky. <laughs> you know. You, of course you do. Um, you're going to grab a card, okay? So I'd like to pick a number card, not a picture card, any card with a number on. There you go. It's okay, don't worry about it. It's just... If I can get rid of that one and that one, there we go. At least you know it's not the five of spades. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, grab a different one, mate. I don't really yeah, care at this one. Oh, you've got one? Yeah, Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. You're happy with that one? Yeah, you like yeah, throw it on the floor? You can do it if you want. <laughs> huh? It's good. You sure? Yeah, yeah. You're happy? Yeah. Right, I'm going to give you a pen. Thank you. What I want you to do, not to keep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this pen. You're going to write your name on the face of the card, not on the back, on the face. Not on your face, no. on the face of the card. Got it. Big letters. Okay, okay, write your name on there. Underneath, if you could put your bank account number and sort code, that would be amazing. <laughs> Pin number. Can you make it work? You know, when I read the script, you didn't even have a fucking speaking role, but that's fine. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Don't show me the card! Right, you're gonna put the card back, are you ready? As it go, what the fuck are you doing? 
Okay. Hang on. It's not ninjutsu. Right, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down through the cards. You're going to say stop. Wherever you say stop, we're going to put the card back. Anytime you want to. Stop. Before I get to the end. <laughs> I go very quickly. It's why I was single for so many years. <laughs> yeah. I'll stop. count to... Th oh, you have the same problem. That's good to know. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Stop. There. Put the card back there. Are you happy? To be at this point, I can't even remember your name. What was your name again? Dave. <laughs> Dave. How can I not forget that? Right, Dave. As far as I'm... <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Come to Bristol, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Fuck this shit. Right. Uh, give the cards a shuffle again, Dave. Bob, whatever the hell your name is. And I don't want to shuffle... Dave. It is Dave. Okay, good. Good to know. Good and I don't want to even um, uh, touch those cards anymore. Good. Yeah, you're, you're going to hold on to them? Excellent. Okay. Now, the idea is very simple. The idea is, when he's finished shuffling... We're going to stand back to back. I'm going to have you take the cards and you're going to hold them spread out in between your hands. Okay. The idea is that you can take the cards and you're going to throw them over your head. Okay. You're going to throw them over your head, over my head. Okay. I must stress the use of the word over my head, yeah, yeah. not into my head. I'm quite tall. Now, as the cards go over my head with ninja-like speed and dexterity, because when you look at this, you think ninja, I'm going to reach into the air, pluck one card out of the air, that will be your sign card, and they will go crazy. Big finish. Love it. I know, it's amazing, right? <laughs> awesome. Even better, I'm going to do this blindfolded. Oh, I know. Now, basically, I'm blind at this point. <laughs> Genuinely, but I also have this. You can't see through that, correct? <laughs> no. No, you can't. Now, I'm going to put this on. We're going to stand back to back, okay. over my head, yeah. up in the air, yeah. one card, end of trick. Uh, throw the whole set over your head. No, just throw one of them. Yes, the whole set. The whole set. <laughs> I'm just right. checking. It's okay. It's okay, we're doing well. Right, now, two things. When I drop this, cur this blindfold over me, I'm not going to be able to see you, so please follow my instructions. Okay. Two, when I drop this over my head, when I take it off, if you lot have gone, <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> and if that happens, I will track you down and show you every single card trick I know. <laughs> no one wants to see that. Right. I beg your pardon? Oh, the cards. Right, okay, that's fine. Here. Don't say that when I've got my arse against yours. Right, okay. Here. Right. Dave, are you still there? I'm still here. Are you not still here? Yeah. This is a good start. Right, not till I say. No, no, no. <sighs> Up and over. That's the only angle you need to worry about, Dave. Right, here we go. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Right, Dave, are you ready? I'm ready. Once again, if you get more excited, they'll get more excited. I Dave, are you ready? I am so ready! Yes. Are you not ready? Yes. Dave! Yes. Throw the cards! Yes. On the count of three! Yes. One! Two! Three! Ninja! A slight problem. <laughs> I was a little premature. I can relate. Um, <laughs> well, thanks for coming to Smoke and Mirrors. <laughs> I hope you had a great time. Do not fucking leave a review on TripAdvisor. Uh, Shall I go now? No, you're sticking around. Um, there's an old thing in show business, you never blame the person that you've got on stage with you. I would like to point out that there's two of us on this stage. One of them is a multi-award winning magician. Wasn't him. That's very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realise. You didn't realise, you're not meant to be funnier than me, Dave. You get Sorry. that right, okay. Right, look, some of the cards are face up, some of the cards are face down. Dave, point to any face down card. Point at a face down card. Yeah, because obviously a face, face up card's not going to be your fucking card because There's it's. One. That card right there. That's a face down card. That's a face down card. Yes. We can fix this. Okay. Dave. Yes. Bunch of face down cards. Bunch of them. This one right here. Yes. You picked. Yes. Was this your card? No. Would have been good. 
was very close. Was it? Yeah, it was very, <laughs> very close. Okay, I can fix this. Ace of hearts. That wasn't even close. I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay, With okay. four words, okay. I can fix this. And the four words are... <coughs> Who's got the box? <laughs> oh, God. For the next five minutes, you're doing that over and over again. It's amazing. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> who's got the key? Amazing. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Now, we have a box with a padlock and we have a key. The key goes in the padlock. What a surprise. Very good. Now, when you take this padlock off, you'll notice that there's two things inside that box. There is a little vial containing nothing. There is also a silver pill box containing something. Now, in a second, you get to choose one of these. If you choose the little vial containing nothing, here's what I'll do. I'll get you to cup your hands together. I'll unscrew the vial of nothing. I will take the nothing. I'll pull the nothing into your hand. You can then take it away, keep it. Just don't say I never give you nothing. <laughs> it's a long way to go for that joke there, Dave. It's a long way. If, however, you want the little silver pill box, then you get to keep what's inside as a magical souvenir. Are my instructions clear, yet stupid? Yes. Hold your hand out for me. First of all, which object would you like? I'd like the silver box. Good job. I haven't got a joke for the vial yet, so that's great. <laughs> right. We'll put those over there. Right, now think about this. Hold your hand out nice and flat. There we go. That goes right there. Think about this for a second. This box, that wooden box, was given out at the very, very beginning of the show to our crack security team over there. He's been holding it from the very beginning of the show, and he has been miles away from key team number two. That's you, love. This box was inside that box that was locked up from the very, very beginning of the show. There was a little button on the side of the box. First of all, press the button and tell everyone what kind of object is inside. It is a little fold... That? Not yet. Building up. Okay. <laughs> There's a little folded up card in there. One person, thank you. <laughs> now here's what's going to happen, remembering this is the big finish to my show. In a second, you're going to take that card out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you're going to open it up so you can see the face. Okay. If that just happens to be your card, which would be impossible, by the way, but if this turned up, say hi from me, by the way. Yes. If that happened to be your card, you will turn around, you will say, that's my card, at which point every single person in this audience will blow the roof off smoke and mirrors for the finale to my show. Take the card. Very good. First of all, unfold it. Don't do that. <laughs> Dave, unfold it. Towards you. And if that's your card, you're going to turn it around, you're going to say, that's my card, they're going to go crazy. This is my fucking card. That is his fucking card! <laughs> Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, please. Give me the... Hang on, man. Give... <laughs> Thank you so much.